Welcome back to Near Lucid. Today we'll be taking a look at two relatively new budget linears by Akko, the CS Rose Red and the CS Vintage White. These were provided by Akko for review, but as always that will not affect our opinion or statements in any way. First, the unboxing. I never do an unboxing section for Switch videos because it's typically just taking them out of a bag, but Akko has gone out of their way to make the unboxing of these actually feel quite premium. They come wrapped in this paper sleeve with specs. Once you lift the box open, you can see each individual switch in its own slot in this plastic mold. Real packaging for switches, a very nice touch. Now let's take a look at the specs, starting with the rose red. Rose reds are linears and have a clear pinkish reddish top housing and a pinkish reddish bottom housing and stem. They come with a progressive spring that is a light 55 grams. The stem is made of palm, top housing of polycarp and bottom housing of nylon. They're plate matted and do not fit films. Rose reds are $10 for 45 or about 22 cents a switch. Vintage whites are linear and have a clear top housing, white bottom housing, and white stem. They come with an extra long 22 millimeter spring that is a very light 35 grams. The stem is made of palm, top housing of polycarp, and bottom housing of nylon. They're plate matted and do not fit films. Vintage whites are $10 for 45 or about 22 cents a switch. So the only two difference between these two spec-wise is their spring and travel distance. Rose Reds have a progressive type spring that's 55 grams and a travel distance of 3.5 millimeters. Vintage Whites have a standard but extra long spring that's 35 grams and a travel distance of 4 millimeters. Will this have an effect on sound? Let's take a listen. So there's really not much sound difference at all between the two. Lubing took away some leaf crunch and plasticky noise. And about the feel, the stock smoothness is average, and I wouldn't say it's anything worth noting in particular. Interestingly, after lubing the rose reds, the smoothness is still pretty average, and a lubed rose red is actually scratchier than a stock tangerine. Vintage whites on the other hand are decently smooth after lubing. So how about the springs? How do each feel? The progressive effect of the springs in the rose red is very, very subtle. If you don't know what a progressive spring is, it's a switch spring that gets harder to press the further down you press it. I can only feel this very, very slightly, and only when I press it super slowly, so if you are wondering how strong of an effect it is, it's really barely noticeable. And as for the vintage whites, of course, the springs are much lighter than typical switches. These would be good for a gaming-oriented keyboard build, where you would want the switches to be easier to actuate. In terms of stem wobble, it's really really well controlled in both switches. As stated earlier, neither of the housings will fit films, which means the housings are very tight already. So which one is right for you? There are trade-offs to getting both. Personally, I believe the vintage whites are just a little too light to be typing on, but the rose reds are a bit scratchier than you can get at this price point. <clears throat> Jwix. Ultimately, it's up to you, and these are still both super solid switches. And all this for the price of 22 cents, cheaper than Gatteron Yellows is quite enticing and something that I would seriously consider for a budget-oriented build. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching this episode of Near Lucid. If you like this video, drop a thumbs up. If you have feedback or questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. We'd be more than happy to answer. Also, these videos take lots of work. By subscribing, you're letting us know that you want us to keep making them. And if you find my voice annoying, you can also subscribe. That's all for this video. I'll see you guys later.